uh, Donna asks you the next question, and she it, it, it's it's a good one. It, it's a question about you know uh, when are we going to hear a dialogue between level-headed people about the environment and energy development? Um, yeah, this is following an update on the state of the economy, which I had tried to I sent it to the writing about relevant information in it. You know, when will we have the meeting of the minds, so to speak, uh, about the issues? So uh, to me, the short of it is um, you can't really talk to people who are calling for the complete shutdown of the Canadian economy. That's their hashtag on Twitter. Groups of eco activists, hardline eco activists like Extinction Rebellion uh, don't want to talk. Uh, they want their way or the highway. They didn't win the parliamentary election in Canada, and they want to uh, put as much pain on regular, everyday people as possible. These are not people you can negotiate with. Um, I think the other problem is too, is oftentimes when those of us who are uh, pro-energy jobs and do believe that you can reach a reasonable accommodation of the environment and energy, that you can develop projects like Tech Frontier responsibly, we're called climate deniers, and we're not. Uh, I, I absolutely uh, hate the term being used to describe people because it goes back to Holocaust denial. And trying to equivocate the two together is absolutely wrong. It's deeply, deeply wrong. Uh, being a climate skeptic is absolutely fine. I'm a climate skeptic myself. You know, I believe in climate change, but I, I, I question sometimes the associations with specific disasters and anthropogenic human caused uh, climate change. Right now I'm working my way through again the IPCC report uh, and I read many of these documents to try and better understand what people are saying. I don't think people can deny that the climate is warming but you can have a vibrant, logical, rational debate as people. And I agree with you, it'd be nice to see a, a broadcast on national TV but it's not, that's not the situation we're faced right now with. Uh, the two sides have kind of a there's no bridging of the two. Parliament is supposed to play that role. Uh, as audience, I'm going to encourage you to listen to the debates sometimes in the House of Commons about the debates we have on Parliament Hill. And you can see that debates are sometimes very interesting, sometimes they're quite dry. But that's where the meeting of the minds in our country is supposed to be on. I think if you uh, put it on TV, uh, and I encourage you uh, to do it, you can go looking around on different channels, on different podcasts if you want to listen to it different YouTube channels, you can see different snippets of the discussion being had in a logical, warm, convincing manner by both sides. Uh, but I think the government organizing and the politicians organizing it is likely not going to work. And again, uh, ridiculous comments by those who are anti-industry jobs, anti-energy jobs aren't going to help. You're not going to have a normal discussion with someone who is uh, an Extinction Rebellion uh, activist at all.